Right now at six threatening posts, the man who police say targeted the Jewish Community Center in Youngstown will stay behind bars for now. We first broke the story over the weekend and new tonight, we're getting our first look at the suspect facing a number of conditions if he's able to get out of jail. 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti was inside court and has tonight's top story at six. With more media watching than anyone else, James Reardon appeared on closed circuit video this afternoon in Struthers Court. Hey, Your Honor, we have any formal reading at this time of the complaints from the serve with and enter not guilty pleas to both counts. New Middletown police say they found Reardon's threatening social media posts against the Jewish Community Center, as well as a small cache of weapons and ammunition Friday evening after another resident in the village told them about the messages. And we always encourage that anytime somebody has information, you know, bring it forward to the police. You can remain confidential, anonymous, but you know what, if you see something, say something prior to something happening. Ironically, Reardon made a name for himself two years ago when he was interviewed for a National Geographic documentary in Charlottesville, Virginia during a racially charged protest. Would you consider yourself a neo-Nazi? Uh, I would not. I'd consider myself a white nationalist and I would consider myself a member of the alt-right. And what does that mean to you? White nationalist, I want a homeland for white people and I think every race should have a homeland for their own race. In court this afternoon, Reardon's family watched as Judge Dom Leone placed a laundry list of conditions on the defendant on the chance he may still be able to post his quarter million dollar bond. He's not to be on social media of any kind, and I'm going to uh, make an order that he's subject to random home visits and searches of his premises, computers, electronics, phones. At this point, Reardon is due back in court September 14th. In Struthers, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.